Last book. Necronomenomenomenom. Yep. Recipes and rites from the lore of H.P. Lovecraft. <sighs> Our best friend. <laughs> Hardcover, embossed, beautiful. All that good shit. A bag of the book. This is from 2019. I'll show you that index because that's helpful. Hop on the TV a while so you can check it all out. And then that's the index. Uh, Alright, so that shit's over with. <sighs> I love that. So this is a fun book because I've covered the cocktail version, which is pretty cool. This also has two big sections. It has the artwork section for the recipes. And then the appendices, which has the recipes without. Yeah. All that shit. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, it gives you the directions there and whatnot. So I'll show you the artworks and then we'll go run out the recipes so you can check them out. I do love the artwork for this. This fucker. Ah, shit. Oh. Ah, my God. No, stop. Better. You know, the artwork for this is absolutely stunning. <laughs> Kurt is a phenomenal artist. Do I love H.P. Lovecraft? Yeah, I do. I like H.P. Lovecraft's work. And I mentioned that in the previous video. So, want to know my thoughts on H.P. Lovecraft? Watch that video. This book, I will definitely be buying as well. Because, yeah, I love... I want to learn how to cook more stuff. I say it never good because it's the truth. I'm learning how to cook. And of course, there are dietary oh, supplications you can do for all this if you're vegan or all that bullshit. I don't know. Sometimes I think people are just afraid of meat. But they'll totally go down on some dick, no problem. Just saying. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Mm. What is my favorite recipe out of this? Um, what's my favorite one? That's a good question. I like all of them. I truly do. But the top one that I want to make... I don't really remember. Hmm. I don't know if I show up when I get to it. Oh, that one. Yeah, I think it was the penguin. Nah, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, little penguin stamp. But I do like how there's, you know, this set, the artwork section with the recipes. And then there's also the 
separate section with just the recipes itself to help you out if you don't want to if you're overwhelmed by all that you know like that's helpful and i like how they stuck to two tones with this which is really nice because most books, they would go all out with a color palette, whereas this one only has a few colors to it, which is good. And surprisingly, most of these recipes are only like one to two pages worth, which isn't bad. Some of them are just one, which is super cool. <laughs> Pigs in a blanket, that's so cute. That's the one I wanted to make because it was so adorable. Yeah. So, and Lovecraft mac and cheese. This is disgusting as hell. Who put spinach and peas into this motherfucker? Ew. Fucking disgusting. Yeah. I'm gonna spit on myself. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> oh, funny. These look tasty, too. Yeah. Oh, this is just over... Uh, or Actually, I think it's 192 pages. I think. Because we're at 121 right now. <laughs> Damn tired. This one will do a lot of book reviews in the day because the shit is tiring. Put your eyes. There we go. So, yeah, they have the easy section for you so you can see what it is. There's artwork throughout this whole book, but this is the easy section for you. So you can see what to do. Actually, I can do that. There we go. This works. Perfect. Oh my god, again. Damn. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I love it. Fucking dumbass siren. Wow. Oh, good, it's done. <laughs> oh, well. So, if you love H.P. Lovecraft and you're that diehard fan, don't have this, pick it up. Seriously. Or, go to your library and check it out for yourself. See if you really want it. I always forget to recommend the library. Yeah, library is your best friend. Uh, 
Yeah. I love these cookbooks, though. They are so much fun. And so simple, too. Like, they're not complex. They're just fun. Yeah. I did like the penguin. Yeah, penguin and cultists in robes. Or blankets. Yeah. I'm doing good on time, too. Wow. Awesome. And of course, they give you the book name, and then they give you the actual name, which is fun, too. Oh, cultists and robes. <laughs> Love Kraft Mac and Cheese and what? <sighs> I mean, I've seen many variations on Mac and Cheese, but spinach and peas? Bleh. Kill somebody over that. Ugh. Yeah, definitely going to be getting this book down the road for sure. Because I like me a good cookbook. <laughs> so, that was fun. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And then you got your index, which I went over. Blank pages. Front of the book. Ah. Yeah, that's the whole book. So, I'm going to relax for the rest of the day and upload these. So, till next time, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.